Right, then here's a shock statistic. 170 children a day are having teeth taken out under general anaesthetic in England and Wales. And last year, NHS surgeons performed almost 43,000 wow. extractions from children with rotten teeth, costing the NHS £36.2 million. Pounds. So what can we do about it? Dr Malad Shadru, uh, also known as the singing dentist, joins us in the studio to show us the best techniques and products to keep your children's teeth healthy. So yeah. have you noticed this then over the last few years, this increase in children mm. having poor dental hygiene? Yeah, absolutely. We, it's, it's all about the messaging that's kind of not seemingly getting to them. So yeah. they'll be coming in with weak spots and then those weak spots can develop so often parents just don't bring their children in enough so okay. something that is preventable just develops into something that then can't be fixed by us right. and has to then go to hospital. But I mean this is affecting really young children as well. Those figures reveal that 25% of five-year-olds in the UK are suffering from tooth decay. Yeah a lot of parents don't know to bring their children in as early as possible so we are now recommending even bringing them in before the age of one mm. not for us to look at their teeth just to give parents the messaging give them some ideas of things they can do and get the kids then used to the environment so it's not a weird thing to go to the dentist and milk teeth are important because i mean it's I mean, a lot of people think well it's all right they get another set come through soon but they are really really important that's super key we hear that as well, all the time do you have to really brush them because they fall out like, well yes because what they do they, they help the adult teeth to come in obviously there's the whole pain part of it as well tooth decay is painful extractions mm. are not pleasant and as dentists we hate doing them it's not, you know, we don't look forward to that in the day. You see it in your list, you think, oh, God, not another one. So if it's preventable. Mm. We, we have to be able to prevent it. The figures we have here are, aren't good. We were discussing at the beginning of the programme mm. the, uh, the amount of sugar in energy drinks. Uh, what, what do you attribute this increase in tooth decay to? Two factors are always going to be the key things in causing tooth decay. It's going to be the brushing habits, the oral hygiene habits, and then sugar. Mm. Um, and as you've shown earlier today, I mean, the, those, the amount of sugar in those drinks is alarming. It's so bad. People come into yeah, the I've, I've had it with teenagers. Yeah, teenagers all walk in like, all right, rather than they put their, their energy drink down, you're like, oh my God, face plant immediately. And do they not and then, know what's no, in it? No, they have no idea. Okay, they have no idea. Yeah. It just tastes nice. They're, they're, they're not pleasant to drink. Uh, they're so sugary. It, but you get used to it. That's but that's the thing, thing, sugar addiction is a real thing. Yeah. And it's hard once the kids are used to it to kind of get them off.